Hello and welcome everyone to this video on debugging OData services by Zaran Tech. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our Zaran Tech YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update from us. So hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can debug our OData services. Okay. So what is the meaning of debugging something? Debugging something means you are actually checking how the data is being flowed inside your logic. Now in OData services, we have various crude methods and which includes get entity method as well. Let me show it to you. Uh, suppose I have this OData project. Now go to service implementation and you can see we have this various kinds of crude methods available here. Create, delete, get entity, get entity set and update out of which we have a get entity method. Now the term itself is suggesting using which what we can do, we can achieve data from our front end application using this particular get underscore entity method. See, suppose we have this particular front end application which is being built on UI5 or Fiery and this is our backend SAP database. And on this particular SAP, we have a GUI through which we are building our, we are writing our code for our OData services. Now see, we have this get underscore entity method. And in this particular get underscore entity method, we have two important parameters, IT underscore key underscore tag and ER underscore entity. Using this particular parameter, you will give input to the OData services from the front end app. Suppose this is your user ID and for using it, you will give the value of user ID here and using ER in underscore entity, this parameter is will return the fetched data to the front end screen. That is, you will get the fetched data to the front end screen using this particular parameters. So for that purpose, I have taken a requirement. See, I have this particular employee table and I want to fetch data from this table via UI5 or Fiery. So for that purpose, I have built a OData project. Now see what I've done here. For, first, I have import my entity. Wait, there is some issue. Okay. Huh. Good. Yeah. See. I have imported my entity type using this table. I have used the DDIC structure and I have imported the five fields. Okay. Then in the DPC and extension, I have implemented the get entity method. Simply right click on it, go to a web workbench. See, this is how I have implemented. The other way is you can go to runtime artifacts and just go to DPC extension, double click on it. See, we have this method which I have redefined. Double click on this method, we will again go to source code. Now see, as I told, we will be getting our, we will be providing input via this ID underscore key underscore tag. And our data will be returned from this ER underscore entity. Now, how we will debug it Suppose if I am executing this particular program from here, uh, go to entity set, select the entity set, click on execute button. Now see, we are getting my not implemented because I am directly fetching for employee set. So I will first fetch for a particular value here and I will provide the employee ID. So I will here give EMP ID, which is my primary key, equals to 101. Click on execute button. See, I'm getting this internal server error. Now, what is the meaning of it? So, internal server error mainly occurs when you have more data and this particular OData services are very crucial and they are, are not very feasible for 
लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ डेटा सो इफ यू हैव लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ डेटा यू विल गेट द इंटरनल सर्वर एयर लाइक दिस नाउ बट आई वॉन्ट टू डीवा गेट टू नो वेदर आई एम गेटिंग माई रिक्वायर्ड डेटा और नॉट डेट सो हाउ आई कैन फैच इट फ्रॉम द यू आई फाइव और फियरी ऐप सो फॉर डैट पर्पज आई मस्ट नीड टू मेक्स यूर डेट माई डेटा इज बींग आई एम गेटिंग डेटा फ्रॉम ई आर इंडस फॉर इंटिटी पैरामीटर सो आट आई विल डू आई विल सिंपली गो देयर आई विल पुट अ डिवगर एयर फॉर ओ डेटा द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज यू ऑलवेज पुट एक्सटर्नल डिवगर एज वेल so i have put an external debugger and you can see this debugger has been kept for my particular user and it will be valid for 2 hours it will not remove it from here now simply go to o data service again click on execute but see my debugger got hit go to desktop 3 now in this it key tab i will should be get, getting my input parameter which i have given the value of employee id from the front end app ca double click on it see in the name you can see i am getting the employee id and its value in 101 in the value field so go to desktop 3 now see i have written the select query here and i am fetching all the data from zar_employee_tab table this is my table and i am storing this into corresponding field of er entity where employee id is ls key tab ls the value of ls key tab okay now see i first i have read it key tab into ls key tab using index 1 because i have only one row in this it key tab so i i would be getting into this value in is key ls key tab then i have written the select query which is fetching a single row which is fetching the row into er underscore entity first see we don't have any value in my er entity now go again place f5 see if size of rc equals to 0 yes the size of rc is equals to 0 so again press f5 now go to double click on er underscore entity c i am getting the value of mandate which is client number uh if i'll go to my table to show you the actual data click on content tab give here 101 the employee id click on it now see employee id is 800 101 employee name is sivan singh sap web is department then we have the manager and salary now go to the debugging debugger portion it is oh there is my debugging screen okay oh debugging screen. yeah we have it is my debugging screen here see the name is 8 and client number is 800 employee id is 101 then we have employee name sivan singh then we have our department and the manager and then the salary so this is how what you can do you can put a debugger the most important thing is you always put a external debugger here and now click on execute and see we have our internal server so this will not cause a problem to you but you will be getting your data and you can check it in debugging mode and how you can put debugging here the first way is click on internal debugger first then click on the external debugger or the second way is select the line go to the debugging portion oh uh, yeah breakpoint here you can use this to put any external debugger see this is how you can put our external debugger here as well o data services are very crucial and we know how to debug our o data services so here what i shown you how should you how we can debug our get entity method we, uh, basically we can debug any logic in o data services we must need to put a debugger there and the uri that we should we would, we would be giving from our front end or from our gateway client should be correct 
then and only then that your debugger will hit. Suppose I am putting a debugger here and just put external debugger and I am looking for my get entity set method. Then what we will see? I will get not implemented error. So it is always very crucial to give a correct URI, correct request URI from our gateway client so that you would not get any runtime error. So this is how we can debug our OData services. First, you need to make sure that your URI should be correct and always put external debugger so that you can check whether the you are getting your particular data in your required parameter or not. So this is all about our OData services. Thank you very much. Sorry, debugging OData services. Thank you very much. 